Dear students, today we will start the stereochemistry, MSc, part second, organic chemistry, CHO 352. In this, we will start with the first chapter, the stereochemistry of six member ring. Stereochemistry of six member ring. Let's start with the cyclohexane molecules. Cyclohexane molecules, we are familiar with this. This is the six carbon compound and which is all carbons in this uh, compounds are sp3 hybridized. And each having the two hydrogens. That is C6 and H2. Now uh, we have the like that your compound is looks. If suppose uh, the white are the hydrogens and black color uh, round shape are carbons now uh, if you consider the shape of the cyclohexane planar it looks like that okay, that is planar structure all are in one plane but when we consider like the structure uh, planar structure then you can found that the the angle is 120 we said that the each carbon single bonded carbon in these compounds is sp3 hybridized and the in sp3 hybridization the bond angle is 109 degree and 28 minutes any angle which divert from this angle will produces angle strain in this compound or any uh, sp3 hybridized compound uh, carbon compound where angle is divert from 109 28 minutes it produces the angle strain in, in such carbon compounds. Mostly angle strain is found in the cyclic compounds. Angle strain uh, is increases in uh, uh, that five member carbon compound also increases in four member carbon compounds and three member uh, cyclopropane is again unstable because the bond angle is reduces diverts from the normal bond angles okay then when you consider the cyclohexane ha as a planar structure you found that the angle strain is increases why angle strain is increases because it diverts from the normal tetrahedral angle okay Therefore, these all carbons having the 120 degree angle. Therefore, it's unst an unstable structure. If you look at this uh, structure, plano structure, you found that the hydrogens, hydrogen, okay, these white colored round shapes are hydrogens. These are exactly uh, eclipse with each other. Okay, these are eclipse. All are the eclipsing each other. The carbon is also uh, eclipsing. Therefore, due to this, the steric crowding is increases, and also lone pair lone pair interaction is there. Okay, their bond having the lone pair. Each bond is having hydrogen lone pair. Okay, this lone pair and this lone pair. There, it shows the 
torsional interaction and this uh, uh, hydrogens hydrogens shows the steric interaction and through the electrons do that interaction okay that bond electronic bond repel that electronic bond that um, repulsion or that strain okay strain means the uncomfortness any uncomfortable thing is the strain due to these hydrogens are near to each other it produces the steric strain and also the carbons are eclipsing it also produces the strain and the lone uh, pairs of uh, bonding pair repair that bonding pair is produces the torsional strain therefore when we consider your cyclohexane as a planar structure it is not possible because number of uh, strains present in uh, planar cyclohexane therefore the planars uh, in 1819 Sachs proposed that the the structure of cyclohexane uh, folded form it's not a planar form it is a folded form it's given by the Sachs and he, he said that the all these uh, carbons are not present in one plane these are uh, 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 carbons are out of place because due to this only this all strain will be minimized okay that angle strain is the minimized if it is folded form 190 28 minutes uh, angle of tetrahedral sp3 hybridized carbon is uh, maintained there therefore all these things is minimizes when you consider this uh, cycle uh, he, uh, hexane as a not a planar structure but it is a folded form folded form is like that it is folded and this is also again folded like that okay, this folded form not all the um, you are carbons uh, are not in one plane okay these are the out of plane carbons are the out of planes this is your folded form Sachs said that things your cyclohexane is not present in the folded form then which form it will exist you are familiar with the cyclohexane exists as a different folded forms first is your chair form then uh, you are twisted chair form uh, twisted board form then board form then you are Half, half board form and the stability is uh, is given in decreasing manner more stable form uh, is the chair form uh, than on other these forms okay this is your chair form board form twisted board form and half board form the question is why the chair form is stable amongst all these forms it is given by using the staggered and eclipse uh, conformations by using these conformations before 
explaining the why the chair form is stable you have to know the things or you have known the, that particular information that is what is meaning of eclipse form and what is meaning of stagger form suppose we have ethene is there okay uh, ethene molecule is the looks like that okay i have see some Okay, like that ethene is there and ethene is having three hydrogens to each one two three and when you look this this is like ethene and when you looks like that the first this is ethene three hydrogen for each carbon three hydrogen for each carbon one two and three one two and three okay when you observe like that you found only one carbons is towards yourself i i can see only one carbon okay which is overlap with second carbon and if it is your first hydrogen second hydrogen and third hydrogen first hydrogen third hydrogen second hydrogen third hydrogen okay like that you move this uh your compound ethene as like that you found that the first carbon is overlap with the second carbon and it is first carbon the first hydrogen second hydrogen and third hydrogen okay you can looks like that first hydrogen second hydrogen and third hydrogen. and behind to this the also which is having the three hydrogens is there okay one hydrogen second hydrogen and the third hydrogen in this also first hydrogen second hydrogen and third hydrogen and it looks from this you found that the first hydrogen second hydrogen and third hydrogen and behind to this the second that is when you looks like that the first first second third hydrogen like that first second third hydrogen is there therefore you can show this molecule like that okay suppose uh, you know that the single bond can be rotatable then the say, second bond is double bond is not rotable and also triple bond is not a rotation is found there but when there is a single bond there is a rotation like that is possible okay therefore when you rotate uh, you some uh, you know, that second carbon you uh, uh, remain as a rigid you not move the second carbon you not rotate the second carbon you rotate only first carbon like that okay th this will be rigid okay you have to put this rigid okay therefore you put the behind carbon rigid and you rotate like that first carbon behind carbon is the stable and first carbon you have to rotate like that okay you rotate that carbon you found that you have the second structure which is interconvertible because single bonded carbon carbons are interconvertible okay therefore you rotated this after rotation you found that your hydrogen position is changed and you it looks like that okay you found that these in first structure these two hydrogens are maximum away from each other the structure is the staggered structure the structure is called as the staggered structure or staggered conformation and this structure is called as the eclipse conformation okay in staggered conformation the hydrogens uh, are perfectly staggered and maximum away from each other in staggered uh, conformation and also this bond having the lone pair uh, uh, electrons this bond is also having the electrons okay all bond has the two electrons because bond is made by one bond is made by the two electrons also there is the uh, also there is very less interaction between these two electrons bonded a uh, pair electrons repulsion is the also there but in this case repulsion is the minimum you you when you see this case you can found that these two hydrogens are near to each other therefore when two hydrogens are near to each other there is a crowding increases therefore crowding increases 
steric strain increases and also there is a lone pair is there uh, bonded pair is not lone pair it is sorry it is bond pair and this bond pair bond pair repulsion is maximum in the it leaves form and this bond pair repulsion is the torsional interaction this is called the torsional interaction bond pair bond pair interaction is called as the torsional strain torsional uncoupled okay instead of uncoupled we said that the strain torsional strain is there and also these two hydrogens are these groups hydrogens are came near to each other this repel to each other crowding is there this um, interaction is the steric discomfort or steric strain steric strain is produced due to the hydrogen hydrogen near to each other okay that is the this form is the eclipse form and this is the staggered form you found that the staggered form is a more stable form because in the staggered form there is steric strain and torsional strain minimized therefore the staggered form remember that always stable form now we discuss this for this uh, explaining the why our chair for is the stable okay firstly your structure was planar but it is unstable because angle strain is there 120 angle is not found for the sp3 hybridization okay it is you move like that and the this carbon you move like that you found that this is a chair like structure okay for upper this is the top side carbon and the below side carbon and these four carbons are the planers to each other okay you can see it is looks like a chair like conformation one two three chair like first carbon one carbon is below first carbon is upper and these four carbon are the planar and angle strain is also minimized and their angle is in this chair form 109 28 minutes therefore angle strain is minimized angle strain what what we said what is about the angle what is meaning of angle strain any angles which is more than 19 for sp3 hybridized car more than 109 28 minutes is unstable or less than 109 28 minutes is also unstable therefore the angle which divert from normal sp3 uh, carbon angles will be unstable okay the mini the mini uh, the minimum angle for stability of sp3 carbon is the 109 28 minutes okay we discuss okay your cyclo exam according to the scientists discovered that it is looks it is very stable in the chair form okay now you you can look this molecule you found that the uh, planar four planar uh, carbon is there okay four ca planar carbon is there and these are the eclipse to each other this carbon is eclipse to each other okay one carbon eclipse to this first carbon eclipse to okay these are four are the eclipses only first carbon and uh, second carbon first and six if you give them one two three four five six okay one two three four five six okay like that this car uh, carbon and these carbons are the one for one and four carbons are the uh, very uh, you found that the away from each other okay like that okay then the first carbon okay this is uh, this four this four when you looks the one two three four one two three four five six okay if you give the naming your chair form is like that one two three four five and six okay like that your chair form you found that first carbon and fourth carbon and these one two six and two are the overlap and five and three are the overlap like it, like that this eclipsing and this eclipse okay therefore second is there okay it looks like that okay these four carbons and one is the uh, 
one is that upper side second is that the lower side these one two are the parallel uh, planar okay these are the planar one carbon is below one is the upper side okay you found that here like that okay you like that you found that okay this this overlap with this and this overlap with this and this below one above okay this overlap overlapping carbon you can show like that one two and three is there okay first second and third okay then in this also first second and third behind hydrogens 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 and it is our hydrogens okay these are uh, looking like that this compound okay when you giving the naming one hydrogen is there one two three four five and six two when you look from this side two and three are eclipse six and five are eclipsing okay when you look from this these two are the eclipsing these two are the eclipsing and one is the at upper side and second is the lower this one two is eclipsing one two is eclipsing okay like that you can show your six membered uh, so chair form as like that you found that this hydrogens okay when you see the your structure cyclohexane one is the axide second is the equatorial axide equatorial axide equatorial axide equatorial axide equatorial axide equatorial okay like that your uh, hydrogens is there one, one six hydrogens are the uh, found the equatorial and six found the uh, your axide okay remember that therefore these are your if it is a axide one it is the equatorial one okay for same carbon axide equatorial okay therefore you found that these hydrogens are perfectly staggered this hydrogen is the perfectly staggered one okay when it is perfectly staggered it means it is a stable conformation when you look the second conformation that is a board form okay board form you have known that board form is looks like that board form is looks like that okay these both carbon first second third and four are the same side okay therefore you are that thing is looks like first carbon second carbon okay this one two three three these two are overlap these two are or a three four five six three two three overlap and five six overlap you can show like that first second and third first second and third then it is not like that sorry and right it's like okay so if it is your first then second third four Five and six like that. One and four are the perfectly eclipse. Okay, behind carbons is also eclipse. Okay, therefore there is this torsional interaction is there. Okay, this bonded pair means uh, they repel to each other. That is the torsional interaction or torsional strain. This discomfort is produced due to this. Uh, bonding pair uh, electrons are perfectly this hydrogen and this hydrogen also overlap 
this bond is also overlap there is also torsional strain is there okay also along with this these hydrogens okay these hydrogens are perfectly matched to each other or overlap each other. this is a flat pole interaction this is called the flat pole in addition to this this hydrogen and this hydrogen that is the flat pole interaction this is called again extra interaction is there extra strain is there flat pole interaction okay these hydrogens from one hydrogen one carbon and the fourth carbon shows the flat pole interaction okay when you see your uh, chair form and your board form you found that in chair form there is a hydrogens are maximum away that is perfectly staggered in a board form hydrogens are very near to each other perfectly eclipse that's why this structure is the very much unstable than this structure also uh, steric strain and as well as torsional strain is minimized in our chair form instead of uh, board form in board form there is maximum torsional interaction torsional interaction is produced due to the bond bond lone pair which is very near to each other this bond bond pairing repel each other and this is a torsional strain and groups when near to each other due to steric crowding steric strain is produced okay that's why our board conformation is unstable than the <coughs> chair conformation and for minimizing this <coughs> unstability your board conformation somehow twisted and board is the by twisting it minimizes these flat pole interactions and also it minimizes the okay this flat pole this hydrogen is move away from each other therefore flat pole interaction is minimizes also some steric strain and some kind of sort of torsional strain is minimized when very small difference is there uh, in this um, so stability of board and the therefore this due to twisting twist boost is the second stable one first is the chair stable then the twist boost is uh, stable then board is stable and at the last your uh, half boat is stable okay half boat is looking like okay you can show here half boat is the is looking like that in this case there is the bond angle this uh, is changes from 109 to something therefore the angle strain is more in this case and also there is a say this carbon carbon overlapping the planar the, the five carbons are the planar that's why uh, there is a interaction is there crowding is there and also there is a angle strain is more that's why half board is the unstable uh, than the all other conformations of chair and uh, of cycloexis okay this is all about the cycloexis when you look the chair form okay okay this one is the exile one other is the equatorial one hydrogen equatorial other is the exile one is the exile one one is the equatorial then one is the exile hydrogen other is the equatorial hydrogen exile hydrogen equatorial hydrogen then exile hydrogen and equatorial hydrogen you found in this cyclo exam the simultaneously found that the one hydrogen if it is exile then second will be the downside okay this is the minimum exile exile is not overlapping okay then third is again exile then downward exile exile equal like that six are your exile one one two three four then five and six six hydrogens are exile hydrogen and six hydrogens are equatorial hydrogen this is all about the 
what uh, our cyclo structure of the cyclo engine because in first chapter we have studied the uh, stereochemistry of six member cyclic compounds okay now we will start with one hour skitar rule okay we will start the one hour skitar according to this rule any 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 cyclic epimer which is having same uh, dipole moment which is having same dipole moment this three, three quantity um, star firstly we will discuss then we will discuss the what is the one hour skitar first any cyclic means it is a cyclic compound any cyclic means the cyclic aliphatic compound okay ali is the aliphatic and cyclic stand for the cyclic aliphatic compounds which is not aromatic these compounds are not aromatic compound not aromatic it is cyclic but aliphatic aromatic compound is there is the alternative double bond is found in aromatic compound but in this compound in aliphatic there is a uh, not alternative double bond is there maybe one single bond is found in a cyclic aliphatic compounds but not more than this any okay you remember any cyclic compound is the cyclic aliphatic compounds what about the epimers epimers are the diastereo isomers remember epimers are the diastereo isomers suppose firstly we discuss the stereo isomers what is meaning of epimers we will discuss okay suppose we have the compound like that this compound we have these are the when we fold like that this uh, superimpose with this but we takes from this to this you found that it is a non superimposable mirror images okay suppose that uh, it is uh, these are the looking like that okay these compounds are the looking like this first is uh, that side okay like that these compounds and when we compare move like that that is non superimposable mirror image but but this can be looks like that is mirror image when this fold like that it is mirror image but when you move this compound like that when you move this compound here you found that these are the non superimposable mirror images okay uh, uh, when you found uh, the its uh, chirality both are the chiral centers okay this the stereo isomers means what they are the number of chiral centers is there and somewhere two chiral centers are different or somewhere one chiral center is different three chiral centers is different suppose uh, the third we have the example from this is like that ch3 ch3 then br then oh is at that side h and h okay these are the enon these two are the enon isomers because the co co configuration one two are the both are the opposite to each other if it is r configuration both are the r configuration it is shows the yes and yes configuration both are the different configuration when you see that if it is a we see the this this compound and this compound you found that it is yes configuration and in this is it change that is r configuration these two are the dash stereo isomers because both is having same looking like same compound both the configuration is change anyway okay other example if like that there is a example and s yes, configuration r configuration r configuration and our configuration 
and second compound is the same but and the, there is the s configuration is there and there uh, r configuration is there s configuration s configuration the, both, both these two are the diastereoisomers because one of the same compound is there okay that but uh, but the configuration is changed anywhere okay these two configuration are same but the uh, these two configuration are changed or if it is also if it is also change here okay anywhere compounds are same mole, uh, molecular weight and the number of elements are the same number of carbon hydrogen are same but only ch change in the uh, configuration of any one of the carbon if suppose configuration okay like that only configuration is changed only at one carbon okay if you found the configuration R is there, configuration R is for second carbon, configuration R is for third carbon, and for bird change in the only one carbon, configuration of only one carbon is changed. That is called as the epimers. Okay, all configuration, all configurations of a carbon is same, but change in only one configuration, only one carbon is different. Whether it is first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, or fourth carbon is not uh, we take consider only one um, uh, chiral, uh, configuration of one carbon is different and all other carbon is the same then it is epimers for example these two are the if the configuration is same first uh, carbon okay for the sake of convenience we take the uh, example so it may be r or s if, uh, if it is yes if it is yes and it change okay only one carbon configuration is changed so that is the epimers remember that the configuration is changed only one carbon all the carbons having the same configuration that is called as the epimers okay we, this is all about the what is meaning of epimers and dipole moment dipole moment if suppose a uh, molecule is hf F is the having high electronegativity. High electronegativity means what? It pulls the electron strongly. Okay, therefore fluorine pulls the electron towards itself. The share pair electrons move towards the fluorine. Okay, at the so we, we believe that it should be in at the middle, but fluorine have the tendency to pull electron strongly. This tendency of to pull electron through bonds is called as the Electronegative, uh, 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 that is inductive effect. Therefore, it is a electronegative atoms. It pulls the electron strongly, and due to pulling electron strongly, it is having the delta negative charge. It is having delta positive. Okay, delta charge means very very small charge. Delta means the very very char small charge. Okay, that perfectly negative charge will not match this because because this very small. This large charge perfectly negative. For example, OH minus. Okay, this is large charge, but delta minus is the very small charge. Okay, due to this separation of poles, dipole moment is the arises. Okay, dipole moment is the given as the distance and the charges. Q is the charges, and if it is a distance, is the D or C anything? Q into distance is given the dipole. Moment. Okay, each molecule has the sum dipole moment. Okay, this is all about the what is the epimers, alicyclic compounds, and the dipole moments. The dipole moments for symmetric compounds is the zero. When the compounds are symmetrical, then dipole moment for this compound consider as a uh, zero dipole moment. Those compound only show the dipole moment which is having not a symmetry. Remember that things. Okay, first we uh, discuss what is alicyclic molecules. Alicyclic means the cyclic aliphatic compounds, okay, which is cyclic one and which all bonds are single or not aromatic. These aliphatic compounds, uh, cyclic aliphatic compounds should not be aromatic. The dipole moment we discuss and epimers is the, it is a diastereoisomer which is having the change in Configuration only one ca carbon. Okay, suppose one, two, three, four are the same. Two compounds are there. Suppose one, two, three, four is the ca chiral carbons, and first three are the R, and R, uh, last is the S. And second compound, first three are the same. It maintains R, 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 but last it changes to R. Therefore, the compound which is having the change in configuration only one ca chiral carbon items. By comparing these two compounds, these are the epimers to each other. These compounds are the epimers 
each other. Okay, then we will move towards the what is the statements of one hour scuta rule. Okay, one hour scuta rule is stated that any alicyclic epimer and which is having same dipole having higher enthalpy if it is having higher enthalpy shows higher boiling point higher refractive index and higher density this is the statement of the one hour skitaros alicyclic compounds which is epimers but and but same dipole moment alicyclic epimers same dipole moments and which is having a higher enthalpy so okay when we we um, comparing these two epimers which is having higher enthalpy shows higher boiling points higher refractive index higher density okay there is some uh, thing is there how the enthalpy is calculated because we directly not calculate the enthalpy change in enthalpy is calculated but for the explaining this there is a one relation is there enthalpy is inversely proportional to the molecular volume molecular volume Do remember this and molecular volume we can decided by using the conformation okay suppose we not able to measure the enthalpy or we are unable to what is the enthalpy is the energy content remember roughly we say that the number of energy having the molecule that is enthalpy we not measure but we can measure theoretically or by comparing to molecules we can measure, measure the molecular volume and from from where we measure the molecular value from the composition okay if you not measure the enthalpy therefore we use molecular volume to to explain this law okay what is the statement of this law any alicyclic that is uh, aliphatic cyclic compound any alicyclic epimers means the which is having the number of ch chiral centers is two compounds is there number of chiral centers is there and only one chiral center they differ in configuration that is your epimers and last is the same dipole which is having the same dipole moments by comparing these compounds which is having higher enthalpy shows higher boiling point show higher refractive index so higher density this is the law then we will move towards how it is explained because enthalpy is difficult to um, understood this or to find this therefore we but we have the one relation enthalpy is inversely proportional to the molecular volume and we are fortunate that the molecular volume is related to the conformation how the molecules looks like suppose uh, we have two compounds this is the first compound and second is the xic3 both is uh, having only one car center is there okay and therefore both is having different configuration one is that uh, equatorial and one is that the hexagonal look okay. both are the epimers to each other okay first thing is clear that the only one configuration is changed number of if their current center and the configuration is changed at only one center that is the for sake of convenience we take the example that is the your epimer and both is having same dipole moments remember that okay therefore which compound shows higher boiling point higher refractive index and higher density okay then we will uh come towards the law okay because these all things fulfilled by these two compounds which is also alicyclic which is also epimer which is also having the same dipole moments then theoretically we have to decide which compounds among these two shows higher boiling point higher refractive index higher density then 
you can calculate this uh, which is the heavy the higher molecular weight because um, both we cannot say that it is having the such kind of enthalpy it is having such kind of enthalpy because by looking the molecules we could not say the about its enthalpy therefore we can say by imagination which is having the higher molecular volume so higher molecular volume is the number of molecules come together and number of, uh, how much is quantity will looks like due the molecular weight suppose we put the second compound of like this okay therefore you we found that on first and then again one is the compound is like that there is the compound is like that okay it's very large difference is there for this if you take the second molecule okay, like that for this if you take the again second molecules okay okay they come perfectly compact and the distance is very less and therefore very small uh, area they will come together but when you looks that it, only three molecules we take the very large area okay if you take both same uh, molecules if, if you take the 1000 molecules uh, of this and also take the 1000 molecule and for the you found that first molecules will be more in quantity looks more in quantity and second will be looks in small quantity because within very um, short space these molecules will be came close together and this very large space is there for very small, small same quantity of the molecules shows for first this molecule higher molecular or for second molecule lower molecular volume. therefore we have the relation which is having lower molecular volume among these two compounds the second compound shows the lower molecular volume second compound shows the lower molecular volume because it is having same molecules is placed in the, in that uh, beaker both quantity as a different molecular volume for this same compound is very less than this therefore molecular volume for second compound is less and molecular volume for